beautiful Friday morning to everyone. It's July 26, a little after 8 a.m. Chicago time, and it is currently 69 degrees. Let's get into it, see what the guides, the guides would like for the collective to be aware of. Remember, only take what resonates and kick rocks to the rest. Let's get into it. Ooh, that was a crack, man. Something about cracks. Cracking through obstacles. I don't know. Completion number 12. We were seeing the number 12 in yesterday's second reading. 12 dimensional beings. Now is a time of reward, opportunity, success, money, good health, love. You could be uh, meeting a stranger, someone that's going to bring you good news. There's a lesson that you finally learned. Okay, and there's a job that you've been doing. You're getting recognition for something. You're doing the right thing. Job well done. Here we've got security, 53. Some of you could be 53 or 35. Here we have you are about to enter a part of life where you can now relax and enjoy. Beginning of prosperity and successful ventures. So this is quite interesting. You could be going into some sort of joint venture with someone that you might not know or are only slightly familiar with. There is a sense of security that's developing within you and it could have to do with career, your finances, your relationships, or again, just simply within yourself. There's something that you've dug into and you're, you're bringing something to the surface. You're looking at things differently with a fresh set of eyes you could have been feeling really down and out soul trapped something about feeling soul trapped but i don't know there's something going on it could have happened in the dream state as recently as last night this is a process it's an ongoing process something that you've been working hard on when it comes to your vision how you are seeing your life currently day to day so also something to do with your day-to-day -day activities, making changes, getting up earlier, exercising 10 minutes more, drinking an extra cup of water, something like that. You're doing something consciously that is allowing you to see your life very differently in a positive way, however that might mean for you individually. Rejoice, 55. So we've got a lot of fives. You could be 55. Finally, the drama in your life is over. So there is something that you've definitely put behind you. The ship continues to sail, okay? Someone has tried to come at you, or many people have, but you're like, no, I know how to deal with this situation now. So there's a situation that has been long going, long standing. You've had enough of it, whatever that could be time to celebrate, rejoice, and go on with your life in a creative way. Something about your creativity, something about newfound freedom. Okay, so we've got this again. So there is a lot of focus right now on finances. This was coming out yesterday. So we've got financially, emotionally, physically, or spiritually is this newfound freedom in 55 Rejoice. And then here for the security is developing career, finance, relationships. So this is about development, self-reflection, something about reflection, self, what's at the bottom of this innocence. We've been seeing this card too, 15. A time when you are open to new ideas and an opportunity to build a new life. <clears throat> so there could be an opportunity that has already presented itself to you that you might have been closed off to and now... After some reflection, you're looking at it differently. You're seeing the benefits and you're feeling stronger about it. So there's a decision that you might have been on the fence about, but now you're like, no, I can see this now. I can see this for me. So yeah, this could also indicate a move. Finding that child within, not taking things so seriously, not getting too caught up in your emotions when it comes to these external things that are really not in your control so much. Let's get some Kipper. Completion, 12. Clean slate, starting over, starting fresh, starting new. 
You've got time, something about time, 12, completion, regaining your strength. Here we've got high honor and it kind of did a flip. I didn't think it was going to come out in the upright. So yeah, this is about rewards, seeing the rewards, seeing your bounty, knowing that all the effort that you've put, that you continue to put toward different things will pay off. You know, sometimes we get caught up in those situations where we're surrounded by snakes and vultures and it looks like they're getting everything that they want, even though they're crusty. But that's that's not the case. It just might appear that way. So you're finally seeing results when it comes to your hard work that you've done internally and it's showing up externally. So let's get a, another card. And this comes after putting something to rest with this coffin 19, which is again, this completion energy. So massive transformations, seeing the world very differently, understanding how certain cycles even are working capitalizing on opportunities that weren't always present and doing it in a meaningful way where you're not compromising your integrity and you're able to live off of your truth. So capitalizing on your truth in a non-manipulative way, authentic security, feeling secure, feeling secure about the decisions that you've made Security, growth, exponential growth. Here we've got marriage. So this could be a partnership again. So career, finances, relationships, self, journey. So you could be a, someone that never thought even that you wanted to be married or be in a partnership with someone, but something has changed, something has shifted. There's a lot that could be going on with that. Someone sees you as this honorable being, this spiritual being that continues to morph, right? Morph and bend, not get tangled up. You don't allow for uh, too many oddball sort of entanglements, especially going forward. Oddball entanglements, that's an interesting way of putting something. I'm not sure what that's about. So someone could even see you as a little bit odd, quirky, oddball. Thief here is at the bottom. You're not allowing anyone to steal your joy, corrupt your vision. Something about corruption, rejoice. That spiritual battle, having the winds, rejoicing in the winds. We know that these spiritual forces that are working alongside us Sometimes it feels like, you know, you take that plunge and you're just going to be stuck there. But no, you rise again and you have to just keep going. There's been some defeat. You're ready for the next round. Let yourself celebrate. Let yourself have this win, whatever it might be. Rejoice. Partnership. So this is, man, look at this. Thoughts, 16. I kind of remember this card coming out yesterday in the same position. I don't know if it clarified rejoice. I don't think so, but we've got this partnership energy here. We've got someone thinking a lot about you or you're thinking a lot about someone. Artistic, creative. Someone could write, be a writer, be a, an illustrator, something about illustrations. Hmm, unorthodox thinking. I don't know what this is exactly, but it's 55, 16 is a seven. We've got two energies in this card, two here. We've got here you're alone, here you're alone, right? You're looking behind, coming from behind the tree. So you might have been in hiding. You've been in hermit mode, some of you, for a very long time, you know, just enjoying the breeze, getting this in, this uh, spiritual communication, these downloads. You've been very comfortable with the information that you've been receiving, the assistance, you know, and now here you are, you go from here to like, okay, let's come from around this tree, see what else is going on. 
I know I got to do a little bit more, right? And then here you are with a partner, with someone, something, something bigger than you, perhaps. But there's balance here as well. Someone you're equal, equally stoked with. Coffin again, putting something behind you. This does feel like for a lot of you, love, like being closed off to it just because you've dealt with some drama kings and queens and dishonest people and this, that, and the other. And you think or you thought that, you know, this just, this, this can't happen for me, but it certainly can. It certainly will if that's what you want. Someone sees you as very innocent. Here we've got that kind of hiding Again, dangers coming behind innocence. So this could simply be just you like coming out of that danger and then not wanting to get caught up in anything else. So we do have despair here. This could be an external energy to you. Let's get another card, high honor. Someone could be thinking about, you could already be in a partnership and someone is, has gotten wind of it thinking about how is it that I let you go slip through my fingers. Toil and labor is landing in reverse under this security. I think this is excellent because it, what it means to me is that you have been working a long time struggling, thinking that you're not going to have this breakthrough, but you are. You're not going to have to, you know, work so hard. Or if this is a marriage, you're not going to have to work so hard at it. It's just going to be natural. It's going to flow. Something about a new relationship that's forming that will flow. It's for you. Here we've got child. Childlike wonderment. New beginnings. Not feeling so anxious as you want, once were. High honor. Again, let's try this again. Oh, courtship. So, couple dome. Something about couple, power couple. Adjudication. So, with occupation, distant horizon. So, some of you could have gone through some sort of breakup in your marriage. It was very difficult or you, you stayed married too long. Something about a partnership you stayed in too long. And now you realize you, you're out of it. You think that nothing new can open for you, but it certainly is. Someone could be embroiled in some sort of uh, legal situation when it comes to a partnership. Let's keep going. We've got courtship high honor. This feels very power couple-y. Something about a power couple or someone very powerful wanting to invest in you knowing that it's not like whoever you are there's no strings attached attached to you there's no hidden motive someone sees you as being very authentic the real deal what you speak is the truth you're not hiding pretending about anything someone that may not know you knows that they can already trust you something like that someone's been observing you let's get a card for uh thoughts Someone's thinking a lot about you. You make someone very happy. <clears throat> Your voice. Something about, some of you are quite quirky. Someone loves that about you. Your quirkiness. How you articulate yourself. Okay, we've got child in the reverse here. And then sudden wealth. So that's interesting. We're going to have to get some more intel. Sudden wealth, mature man, coffin, great fortune, journey, community, imprisonment. So <clears throat> now we're kind of getting into some lower vibrations here. So let's just keep going. Not sure why this child is coming out in the reverse. This could be someone thinking about not having a new beginning with you. You could have been with this person and you were very happy with them, but something went a little Hey, wire, something about hey, something about wire. Let's get a card for high honor, completion. The Empress in the upright. Yesterday, the Empress came out in the reverse. So 
I feel like this is something that you've done within yourself when it comes to integrating your light and your dark. Some sort of completion with, um, I don't know, just a spiritual awakening process, a level. Something about a level. Crossing into higher levels. 12, completion. So maybe you're going into the next dimension. From the 12th, you're going into the... 13th or I'm not real sure I'm not that uh, versed when it comes to how these dimensions work but this empress is a number three 12 breaks down to a three so you've definitely completed something this high honor is 25 that breaks down to a seven this thoughts is 16 breaks down to a seven so there is an energy of someone that really can't get you off of their mind. They see your true beauty, your true strength. You're the one. You're the one, Queen of Cups in the upright. Yesterday, these two cards came out in the reverse. So there's Queen of Cups, highly intuitive, mother, maternal. So a lot of maternal energy. This could be Mother Earth energy. Eight of Cups is behind the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Tower. Then we've got the Strength. So you had to leave something or someone behind to regain your strength. And you've done that. This new journey that you're embarking upon is bringing you a lot of success, a lot of recognition. Someone is very nervous about that. Could even be a little bit envious. Let's see what else comes out with courtship. Entering into a new relationship. Ah, look, here we are. Nine of swords. So, hmm, completion. Moving out of this nine of swords energy. Putting this nine of swords energy in its proper place. You know how sometimes you get wounded and that wound just kind of sits on your shoulder for a while, that heavy weight. You've, uh, you've come to terms with this Nine of Swords energy. You've put something behind you. You've completed this cycle of not having, <clears throat> how do you say, not thinking that things could get better. Every day could have felt like, oh, bunny! the bunny yes that's that's a sign too just like you're coming out of something that was just harrowing let's keep going i'm getting distracted <laughs> the bunny's still out there oh my gosh soil and labor whoa okay this is all landing over here i don't even want to entertain whatever that might be it doesn't feel that great so there's something that you're just you've like i'm not going to entertain this anymore it's not a part of who i am anymore so <clears throat> you've definitely completed some sort of spiraling cycle of despair where you just felt like, I'm never going to get right. I'm never going to get this right. You've, you've come out of something. Toil and labor in the reverse. You're focused on success. Having that win. Yeah, look. Ten of Pentacles. Clarifying toil and labor. So unexpected financial windfall inheritance, trust fund, affluence, old money, issues. Yeah, I feel like this is that family home business responsibilities because we've got it here, career finance relationships. So acquiring, you're acquiring your security. Things are building up for you. You could be spending having some very different, like you've made some amendments when it comes to your, your spending habits. Being that conscious consumer, and it's allowed you to save. Some of you could have recently left a job to pursue a creative outlet endeavor, and you've got the savings, the security to be able to do this. So that's really amazing. Here we've got five of wands. Oh, wow. The bunny almost got run over. Holy cow, man. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> it's like you're moving fast. You're, you're, you're able to sense this danger because we do have this danger here. 
So you're able to sense this danger before it can really hit you. And it has to do with whatever you've completed and it feels very spiritual. So this is that development of, of intuitive skills. You've got a new intuitive ability that you don't need your eyes and ears even. It's just, it's sheer clear sentience. Like you can feel everything. You're feeling everything right now. And you're feeling this five of wands. There are people that are watching you like, what the heck? Eight of swords. So there's someone that's just really locked on you right now. Eight of swords. And then we got this king of cups. So it could be a king of cups that's just got their sights on you. Someone wants to get to you, whether you're male, female, however, it just someone wants to get to you. Why is marriage here? ace of wands it's landing here with the uh thoughts card so yeah someone really wants to be with you ace of swords and it's followed by the hierophant this is institution this could also be marriage and then we've got this five of swords so and then this queen of cups so whew, and then the devil the devil behind the queen of cups that's interesting for that card to show up like that so there is someone that is dealing with a queen of cups that goes in between the light and the dark. They're very manipulative, <clears throat> but they present another way. So shapeshifter energy. Meanwhile, here you are. You could already be married or you could be engaged or these are things that you don't think are coming to you, but they are. Something is in the works. This is... Something big, major. You might not see this coming. Yeah, you're very talented. You've changed your mindset. This really does have to do with coming through these nine, this nine of swords energy, completing this cycle of despair and just moving new. So you're moving new. Could be moving. Wise thoughts here. Someone didn't realize how creative you were. They're amazed. Yeah, look, the star came face down. So I feel like the person, whoever this is that's thinking a lot about you, does see you as a very uh, missed opportunity with the child here in the reverse. Yeah, that's, that's the truth. You're the truth, higher Finnegan. So you are telling the truth, man. You're not backing down. You're speaking very clearly about you, how you feel about a lot of different things. You know what you're talking about. Someone knows that you know what you're talking about. Wise child here in the reverse. Okay. Eight of clubs sideways landing on thoughts. So three of clubs. So this is someone that wants to approach you, but they're waiting. What are they waiting for? I'm not quite certain. I'm going to put this underneath the child card. Let's go here. I kind of want to get, <coughs> excuse me, the Empress. <clears throat> Why is the Empress here? Servant. Clarifying the Empress. Delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. That's this high honor here. You don't, you're not, you're motivated. Your motivation is for you to be your best. That's what motivates you. You're not competing with anyone, whoever you are. You only compete with yourself. And you do get absolute sincere joy from helping others. You know that's why you're here. And because of that, you've been burned many times throughout your life, but you're understanding that that's a part of the process. You can't be this giving, loving heart without getting your heart shattered over and over again. But now you're looking at that shattering very differently. It doesn't lay you down flat. You can accept heartbreak, move through it because you understand that people are who they are and you can't change the world like all at once. So you're going to keep doing what you're doing, serving others with that 
free, open heart while not getting completely annihilated. Okay, so servant clarifying empress is beautiful. Let's uh, see what's going on with the with the star. But I did say hermit and I, yeah. So this is that hermit energy, you know, coming out of that hermit energy. You've gone really, really deep, deeper than many people can go. You dive deeper than most, okay? Because you're fearless. Fearless. And that's what allows you to have this dynamic energy here of this Ace of Wands. You, you can have these brutal endings and then still start again because you maintain that childlike wonder. So this is really pretty awesome. You are indeed this rare gem and people are seeing that about you. You're smarter than that. So there could have been some decisions that you made in the past that you're like, man, I, you know, I knew better, but it doesn't matter because you still learn from it. Whatever it was that you're like, man, I shouldn't have done that shit. I got my ass kicked, but you learn from it. You emerge stronger, better than before. And you might not even feel it, but you do know that you're only becoming better. Because that's your intention. Your intention in this world is to become better. The best that you can be. And you're not comparing yourself to anyone else's journey. Your journey is your own. And you know this. And someone else knows it too. And that's what someone admires about you greatly. They can see that you're not out here being cutthroat. Trying to blow out other candles so that your candle shines the brightest. You light the way for others. You're lighting the way for someone else. Why star here? Healing. Someone wants to heal a rift with you. This is landing on this thoughts. And it is child orphan in the reverse. So whoever this is that's thinking a lot about you. They're kind of in their shadow. They feel abandoned, stifled. This person could be a bit immature. They um they feel in a they feel uh, lesser than you. So there's someone that feels lesser than you, and it has to do with your magic, your mystical abilities, your relationship with the spirit realm, the uh, interdimensional realms that you uh, are able to go in and out of freely. So you're not soul trapped. You're dealing with someone that feels soul trapped, like this world is a prison. It's never going to get better. Why do I need to put forth effort when I feel like I'm just jammed up? Nothing ever works for me. <sighs> yeah, you're not you're not dealing with that energy. You've you've released yourself. You're not allowing you're not falling into that soul trap, that matrix thinking where beauty doesn't exist except for in other people that's i don't know where that's coming from so that's interesting you're not really focused on what other people are doing i can't stress that enough that's that's for real so we've got servant child orphan so you're this empress big heart honorable soul not trapped in the matrix and this energy is very focused on you coming into a new relationship and being successful. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. It continues to happen. It continues to happen. This is a process. Let's get another card for marriage. Let's see what's going on with this marriage here. All right, we got memories. It's landing on child orphan in the reverse with thoughts. So there's someone, this person thinking a lot about you is wondering, do you think about them? Savings here. Real estate. Confinement. So there's trouble brewing for someone that's very focused on you. They made some bad investments involving real estate. They could be a could be some sort of fraud, fraudulent case going on with someone. They wish they hadn't done what they did. That's for sure. Let's see. What can we get from this deck? 
So you could really just be wanting to take it easy right now. You've been through a lot. You just want to take a break, enjoy your summer, you know, get through this battle. This was a battle that you've gotten through, but you can still feel the remnants of it. You just need a little time out before you move into any relationships going forward. Here we have turquoise. You could really love the water. You continue to speak your truth. That's so beautiful. Something going on about you speaking out is making someone nervous. Yeah, it's making someone nervous. Someone is talking too much about you. And it's got people looking at them like, what? What are you saying? You were talking horribly about this person. And now, what is going on with this damn rabbit? Huh? Is that a rabbit? Okay, I don't know what's going on with rabbits, but it's significant today. Fertile, fertile, rabbit, this Ace of Wands energy here, expression. Hmm. Someone's voice has gone AWOL. Maybe you've been really quiet and now you're speaking out. I feel like there's some whistleblower energy coming through. So let's see what this is about. Let's get one more card. Okay, we got Quartz. Quartz and Larimar. So enhance your vision. That's what you're continuing to do. Ride the cool breeze. Slow your roll. Someone wants you to slow your roll, but you're not. You're only getting started. You are a master manifester. You aren't programmable. So there's someone that's quite programmable. They're still stuck in this matrix soul trap. You could be dealing with a Gemini or you could be a Gemini. Yeah, moving through this self-doubt, clearing the mind of self-doubt, surrendering to the will of the universe. This is what I'm saying. With this empress and this servant here and completion, this is the Nine of Swords, That's that completion coming out of this Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, going into that Ace of Swords, that truth, right? Going back into that, knowing your truth, giving it to God, you're fine with it. You're fine with it. You know that you can manifest the impossible, and that's what you're doing. What looks impossible to others is something that you know you can do like literally and here we are with the articulate sentences so yeah ha this has to do with how you're articulating your vision that you have for yourself that's beautiful do we want any of these let's get some alien cards just to see what comes out in general that alpha draconian energy yesterday was heavy heavy whoa we got water nephilim here at the bottom so yeah assessing new perspectives so something about the water this card is coming in the reverse compassion kindness reflection so with this being in the reverse landing over here with this thoughts memory that's in the reverse child orphan that's definitely shadow for whoever this is that's thinking so much about the new start that you're having they really do regret not showing you more compassion and not having the ability to change their perspective when it came to you and whatever relationship this was, could have been, or could still be as far as this person is concerned. Nephilim, tall, whites. They could be very tall, have a fair complexion. We've got fire here. So something about your fearlessness that is really igniting others to get out of some of these self-imposed jams. Let's just see what else we get. Okay. Empress. Oh, I'm nervous. Why is the Empress? Whoa. Swamp. Sideways. Let's get another card. It's landing on this Nine of Swords. Servant. Empress came out yesterday in the reverse, so you just could be like, you, you're not, you're, you've come out of the swamp. That could be what this is with this Nine of Swords. You just decided that you're not going to languish in, in pain anymore. So let's see, 
the swamp energy could also be that global energy right now that yeah tax accountant someone could be a tax accountant or you've got the success that you've got coming in is going to require a tax accountant let's get another card okay the math isn't mathing so okay tax accountant again all right well empress what's going on here we've got the math isn't mathing tax account swamp so you could have been dealing with someone that really like did did you in with when it comes to your finances and now you're building building out building back <laughs> monitoring spirit spiritual watch list you are love and protected by forces unseen so for some of you you've definitely come out of some financial hardship that could have been um, because you trusted the wrong person it took you forever to dig yourself out of this financial hole but you did and now you're coming back out you were a little nervous but you realize that there is a lot of joy left in you to have to experience um, this could be something going on with some of these swamp creatures that are constantly showing up and you know just trying to destroy the whole world this could be some sort of scandal coming up with a swamp creature when it comes to uh embezzlement like think bernie madoff type of energy could have to do with congress state representative even Someone that's in a political position, but they are also a tax accountant. Someone in the swamp. The math isn't mathing. So you did, there was some sort of uh, discrepancy in some of your finances or something like that. Some betrayal there, but you've come out of it or you're coming out of it. Let's see. Anything else for Empress? I tell you, this deck is so wild. I never know what's going to come out of it, Empress last confession face down so there's someone that is in a lot of despair because they feel like they're just not going to have the, the opportunity to tell you the truth with this water in the reverse and this memories in the reverse so this person that's thinking a lot about you um could be having problems with their their memories they can't they can't articulate themselves well anymore because they're having some sort of um yeah something with brain function hmm all right anything else from this deck let's go over here to marriage python spirit clarifying marriage <sighs> let's get another card whoa false business complaint on the spectrum and we've got 15 minute cities smart cities debunk so yeah we're going into the uh, spectrum of the python spirit so this is the swamp energy here so this is going from the mac the micro energy to the macro energy and it's got to do with some sort of political marriage here Python spirit debunked. Something's being being debunked, has been de debunked. False, false business complaints, swamp, 15 cities, 15 minute cities. Okay, how in the world did I get right here? What was I was just talking about the Empress, and now all of a sudden I'm in this mess right here. So this is something. It's going to hit the news reel. It has to do with what? 15 minute cities. The math isn't mathing. So, this is some sort of municipal embezzlement here. Uh, so, you got more swamp creatures in the political spectrum that are about to go get, get locked up. They've stolen a lot of money. Surrogate, very sincere. This is this energy, this child orphan surrogate family. So going back to this person thinking a lot about you, they could be separated from a marriage and they want to come toward you, but there's something here that's just way off. 
This could be something going on with you. You could be wanting to move to a smaller city, but this does feel very global with these schemes that are constantly popping up on the spectrum. Let's get another card for, I'm just going to have to clarify this with something else because it's got me thrown off big time. These readings don't flow. They're not cohesive. I know that. I know that. <laughs> okay. Swamp. Priest. So this is landing over here with the Empress, Nine of Swords. This uh, completion. So definite completion, putting something in, into something, room. It, it really has to do with being in that hermit energy. You're getting back out there. Wise swamp here. So pythons, they're in the swamp. Something could be going on in Florida. Florida politicians. Here we've got love. So there is someone that's very much attached to you. They just don't, they're not going to let you go. Doctor here. Someone could be a doctor. Someone's gotten bad news from a doctor. Here we've got soldier and friend. The friend was in the reverse. So yeah, this is just that energy of the past trying to come back. Young woman here. And then we've got thief. So someone's dealing with the younger energy that is indeed a thief. This person could have interfered with your relationship with whomever this might be that's thinking a lot about you. Um, we still got this marriage thing here. So this could be someone else's marriage that they're moving out of. Quartz. Enhance your vision. Hmm. Blackmail ring. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So this is the collective being in that spiritual warfare energy. We got a blackmail ring here. This is what's going on with this math that isn't mathing and this swamp. So these swamp creatures, they're blackmailing each other. There's a lot of uh, dueling factors. Nephilim, tall whites, fire, starseed, vegan, reptilian. So there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of different factions that are fighting. Something is being brought to the surface. There's a surrogate blackmail ring here. Someone, this is a political partnership. They had surrogate kids or something like that. They are being blackmailed. There's some blackmail ring here. The math isn't mathing. So someone's got to pay out some money to get these... Uh, Something about an endorsement, 15-minute city. So be mindful of your local um, political stuff that's coming out. There's a lot going on when it comes to these, these things here. 15-minute cities wanting to keep people constricted, their movement constricted. That's what this uh, pythons, when they kill you, they wrap around and then they constrict you, right? So this is about constriction. This is, yeah, 15 minutes, city, smart, constriction. So something, yeah. All right, well, this kind of sucks, man. <laughs> so there's some, some new scheme on the horizon when it comes to uh, these oligarchs that are constantly doing the most, switching up these narratives, having people afraid, soul trapped, etc. But the collective continues to move through this. You could be uh, through your truth. You are debunking these non-realities and um, <clears throat> seeing things for what they are truly. Malignant, malicious spirits and uh, bringing more people to the realization of what's real and what isn't. Yeah, so, yeah, let's just finish, close this out. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to my reading. I think it was the bunny rabbit distracting me. Okay, final messages, angel messages. Let's
passion that's beautiful it's landing right on top of this ace of wands so archangel haniel trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career so this is love and career for sure crystal clear intentions archangel michael be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith so for some of you okay for some of you you are very much interested in the political spectrum let's say but you know that it's a difficult environment if you want to start a channel or whatever and you want um the swamp type of energies to be your daily topics you know that it's difficult to put that kind of content out without having without being restricted but it's something that you're very passionate about so there's something you're very passionate about it doesn't have to be politics it could be anything but there are uh, obstacles, restrictions. Someone could have even have tried to blackmail you to stop you from doing something that they know you'll be successful at and that will help change the world. You're already changing the world, but there's something here. It's a big story. Some of you could be investigative journalists. You're cracking a story. It's a big story. Tax accountant, blackmail ring, 15 minute cities. The math isn't mathing. This is a big local it's municipality. It has to do with tax money being something about quarterly. Quarterly tax money. The math isn't mathing. Quarterly reports. Very sincere form. Surrogate false Python. Jeez, man. I don't know what this is, but it's something that you're going to see in the news feed. Blackmail rings, the math isn't math thing. It has to do with, uh, it's got to do with money. Big, big money. Lots of money. Could be trillions. Trillions. All right, well, that's what I have for this collective. I will, uh, this reading. <laughs> I'm going to come back with the second one. I think I need more coffee. I don't even want to post this again, but I'm going to. All right, see you soon.